Welcome to all my viewers. In this video, I will share with you how to use form limiter to set date and time in Google Forms. Let's get started. Sign in into your Gmail account. Click on My Drive and use Google Forms option to open a new form. Here I am using this one. So in Google Forms, you can create different types of questions. For example, fill in the blanks, match the following, short answer type, multiple choice. You can embed images and videos and many more. I will give link of all these videos in the description box. Watch to know how to create different types of questions in Google Forms. Let's get started with form limiter. So here you can use plus sign to add question and you can create quiz after creating quiz to use form limiter in google forms beside send option click on more option click on add-ons when you click on add-ons a window will appear click on search apps and type form limiter press enter so this is form limiter Open this and download this extension. After downloading, allow permissions to form limited and select your one of your account. After selecting account and giving permissions, you will be able to use form limiter. After adding form limiter, it will be automatically added to your Google Forms. So towards the right top here beside customize theme, you will find add-ons option. So this is the icon of add-ons that is form limiter. Click on add-ons and click on form limiter. I have also shared a video on how to use form presenter plus timer. Link is given in the description box of this video. Click on form limiter. Sometimes you will not find the option set limit in form limiter. Close this and reload the page. After refreshing, you can find the option. Again, click on Form Limiter and click on Set Limit. Sometimes it happens that you will not find this option. Don't worry, what you can do is reload that is, refresh the page. Click on Set Limit. Towards the right side, Form Limiter window will appear. In this, first is Limit Type. There are limit type in Form limiter, select any one of this date and time, number of form responses, and third is spreadsheet cell value. Click on date and time to set date and time. Next step, click on select date, select date. Next is select time. From this box, select hour. Now I will select 9. Select AM, PM. Then next minutes, select minutes. Next step is click on set to set the date and time. Below this you will find a message when submissions are closed. This form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close by this. So this message will be displayed when the form gets closed. After 9.30 the form will automatically close. And will stop accepting responses. So this is you will get email form, email form owner when submissions are closed. So you will get an email by form limiter when submissions are closed. Final step is to click on save and enable. Saved. Your date and time will be saved. Minimize this. Click on send option. Click on link click shorten link so the long link will be shortened click on copy link to copy for trial i will open a new window and in the search box i will paste the url and press enter now the form will open so this is the form and here are the when i click on next different sections can be seen to accept responses till 9 30 so students will be able to answer 
this before 9.30 and at 9.30 the form closes automatically. Now I will show you example after 9.30 what will be displayed. So after 9.35 you will see responses, not accepted responses will automatically enabled. So this means this form is no longer accepting responses and has set to automatically close. So you can also manually disable and enable this button. Now we have used form limiter for this to get automatically disabled. Now let's open a tab and let's check. So after 9.35 when you will check the form will not open. This form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close. That this means that after 9.35 the form will not accept responses. And in your form in responses you will see this red colored bar which shows not accepting responses. So this will be automatically enabled. You can manually Enable and disable also this. So this was all about form limiter in Google Forms. Like, share and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.